Hello, and welcome to Why Do Children Bite? Part 2, Imitation, Attention, Frustration, and Anxiety. A video brought to you by Michigan State University Extension Early Childhood Team. Many children go through a biting phase during their infant and toddler development. It's difficult as a parent to deal with biting episodes, as they can be frustrating and can involve your child hurting someone else. Michigan State University Extension has some tips on how to address biting. In Why Do Children Bite Part 1, we covered biting for autonomy, exploration teething, peer interaction, and cause and effect. In this video, we will cover imitation, attention, frustration, and anxiety. Biting for imitation. We all know that children are both sponges and copycats. They imitate the behaviors they see other people doing, which might include wiping down a table, talking on a phone, or biting. If children see someone biting or if they experience physical punishment like hitting, they are more likely to engage in aggressive behaviors like biting. They do what they see and experience. The best thing you can do in this case is to be a good role model. Show your child loving, nurturing behaviors like sharing, using manners, and talking about problems instead of hitting or yelling. You can also model and teach your child to use words to express themselves. Even before your child can speak, you can tell them, you are so angry that your brother took your toy duck. You are your child's first and most important teacher. So teach them positive lessons early on. Biting for attention. Sometimes children bite for attention, even if it's negative attention. Everyone would prefer positive attention, but young children will seek out negative attention if it's all they can get. Children get noticed when they are behaving badly, giving them the attention they desire. The best thing you can do in this case is to give your child lots and lots of positive attention. Catch your child being good. Talk about the positive things you see them do or say. Notice and acknowledge them. Fighting for frustration. Young children experience a wide range of strong emotions and don't have a lot of practice managing those feelings and often don't have the words to express them yet. Sometimes they can get overwhelmed or frustrated, which can lead to biting. Sometimes this frustration comes from their needs not being met, because they have been punished harshly or because they are angry at parents or caregivers about something. Teaching children how to handle frustrations and strong emotions is the best way to combat this behavior. Give them words they can use, like stop, no, and teach them words to express their emotions, like, I'm angry or I'm sad. Fighting for anxiety. An infant or toddler's world is big, and so much of it is out of their control. Sometimes anxiety about things happening around them or to them can lead to biting behaviors. Events like parents fighting, being apart from loved ones, or having their routines interrupted can create feelings of anxiety in very young children, and biting can act as a coping method for that anxiety. It's important to work to identify what is causing your child's anxiety, and then provide lots of opportunities to help your child calm down. You can allow them to engage in relaxing activities like playing in sand or water, let them have lots of time with transition objects like blankets or their favorite stuffed animal, and make sure they get lots of positive one-on-one -on -one time with you. This article was published by Michigan State University Extension. For more information on child development, academic success, parenting, and life skill development, please visit the Michigan State University Extension website at www.msue.anr.msu.edu.